When you mix a teenage girl, space journeys, and a studio referencing their previous works all in the span of seven minutes, you get Space Patrol Luluko. Created by Studio Trigger and directed by Hiroyuki Amaishi, who previously directed works like Kill a Kill and Gurren Longan, it is the best short so far in 2016. Space Patrol Luluko is a celebration of Trigger's history. Luluko references many Trigger properties, such as Kill a Kill, Little Witch Academia, Infernal Cop, and Kin's Neighbor, alongside Gainax works like Gurren Longan and Die Buster. Arguably, Luluko's biggest strength is in the way that it incorporates the numerous references into its story. These easter eggs provided some of the funnest times I've had watching and talking about anime, whether by learning about a new title or seeing a nod to a beloved show. This short centers around middle schooler Luluko, the daughter of the weird couple of Keiji, a space agency officer, and Lalako Godspeed, a notorious pirate. She lives in the diverse city of Ogikubo with her dad and strives to live a normal life despite her upbringings and surroundings. During their breakfast, her father freezes over after eating a pill, which leads to Luluko taking her father to the space agency. She finds herself wrapped up in their work as she needs money to revert her father's status. She ends up meeting HQ agent Alpha Omega Nova and other characters, flipping her previously normal life upside down. From here, the plot spirals into a goofy referential trip across the galaxy. To ease the load, Luluko splits itself into five three-episode length seasons, each equating to about 20 minutes each. This also works nicely for people with time constraints, or people who are looking for something short to supplement their long full-length features. Using these mini-seasons provided more charm by making this short work feel more cohesive and longer than it actually was. Luluko is an enjoyable lead. While not significant, she shows development not usually seen in a short's typical protagonist. Initially in denial of the exciting world she inhabits, she ends up embracing it through her journey. Her love for Nova is sweet, innocent, and simple enough to work as a motivation for a show of this length. It's hard not to root for her. It is also amusing to watch her reactions to the multitude of things that occur. Alpha Omega Nova, the previously mentioned Space Patrol member from HQ and the love interest of Luluko, is a smooth-talking, slick guy who ends up helping Luluko a lot or accompanying her on most of the episodes. He is given a lot of well-placed lines, but suffers from a cookie-cutter personality and isn't given much development until the end. Midori starts off as Luluko's classmate, as well as the Black Hole app developer Save the World, but ends up joining the patrol. She only adds to the plot at the start, but her personality and dialogue provide for an occasional joke. That said, her voice actress, Mayumi Shintani, is a cast highlight with a pleasant delinquent take. Overjustice is the space agency chief of Ogikubo, and my favorite character. He overloads the show with flair via his snappy dialogue and actions. Tetsu Inada delivers his lines with enough grace and humor to bring Overjustice to life. With Luluko's short length, these simplistic characters really fit right into the mix and benefit the whole show. In typical Trigger fashion, the art in the show is great. Mago and Yusuke Yoshigaki do an amazing job with the character designs. They are simple and easy on the eyes, but still distinct with the flair of Trigger's easily recognizable style. Luluko herself has a more standard design, but her look fits her personality and keeps the wilder characters in check. Midori takes on a similar simpleness, with a relaxed uniform and sharky expressions marking her delinquent character. Nova is my least favorite design out of the three middle schoolers, as while the slightness in the space expression works, his blindly white, fur trim outfit was quite weird. Chief Overjustice, who bears a striking resemblance to fellow Trigger character Infernal Cop, is just as sleek with a nice girl along on flair, is just as flat as Infernal Cop, and is a nice stylistic counterbalance to everyone else in the show. Their Justice Gun morphing forms fit each of the characters, and especially in the case of Overjustice, were both funny and badass. The backgrounds consist of a bunch of really cool watercolor paintings that are mostly minimally detailed, but change depending on the reference series. The characters, with their solid bright colors, stand out against these backgrounds, but not to a crazy degree. Luluko's animation is mostly kept quite low-key. Characters are usually not too animated and focus more on conversations or walking. Most of their expressions come from their face and body movements, whether snappy or exaggerated. That said, there are some incredibly crisp and fluid cuts and impact frames from key animators such as Toshiyuki Sato, Yuto Kaneko, and Takafumi Hori.
This detailed animation makes the show engaging, but the simpler parts never fell out of place either. Both of Ludico's styles complement each other and provide for a great visual experience. The soundtrack carries its weight as well. The theme song, Crimax by Fujiro Q. Kairi, is this upbeat, busy, and fun track that immediately sets the tone of the show. The ending theme, Pipo Password, composed by Teddy Lloyd and performed by Kumamiko singer Banjo Suzuki, is this soft, soothing piece that draws out a different emotion per episode. The rest of the tracks are done by Suhiro Kenichiro, the composer of ReZero, and all of them synergize well with the visuals. It is overall worth the listen. If you haven't seen Luluko yet, drop what you're doing and fix it right now. With an appealing art style, fun characters, a simple but enjoyable plot, a good blend of animations, and nice nods to other quality series, there are very few shorts that I would consider more worthy of being the best short of this year. You can watch the whole thing on Crunchyroll. It is definitely worth your time and you are missing out by skipping it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and share with your friends. I'm really excited to talk about this series. See you guys soon. Peace.